discrimination. You know? When you go and sleep with a woman, you have to know who is she, where does she come from, who, who her parents are. This is quite normal. We want to make sure that you are compatible, not just physically, but also mentally. You see? Well, the same thing goes in your in your daily in your daily uh, communication, and uh, of course in dealing with uh, this with the world. On a, on a political level, you have to know who your enemy is, and most of our colleagues, I'm sure some of you may have made this mistake by always looking at the consequences. The consequences are those bad guys who come from Anatolia, who came from Kurdistan, probably, who are probably. Who knows, we're probably getting some government benefits of very, very tricky nature. Who probably don't even deserve to be qualified uh, to, to qualify for, for Norwegian citizenship and, and getting you know, actually your money, your parents' money. You know? But uh, I keep saying wrong. They are not the responsible ones. Those who are responsible is who? I mean, you can take a guess. The capitalist system. I know I sound like a Marxist, which I may be. It's the capitalist system. If you look at the dynamics of capitalism from the 19th century, well, what is, okay, let me just, re, let me just back up a little bit and give you just the, the idea. What does liberalism, classical liberalism, presuppose? Actually, <coughs> it posits that a human individual being, an atom if you wish, if he furthers his own private interest, it's in the best interest of the entire community. So in other words, first come myself, myself, and as a spillover, the community will benefit. This has been the dogma over the last 60, 70 years that you've heard from all wavelengths all over the so-called Western democratic parliamentarian era. I mean every word of what I've just said. So-called democratic or parliamentarian uh, Western West, including the United States of America. Those who benefit most, and those who have benefited mostly from the, from the arrival, this huge storm, if you wish, the influx of foreigners, non-European foreigners, into this country, are certainly not you, are certainly not the, the, those people, those poor immigrants, but the rich capitalists, or for that matter, those financial capitalists who are whose interest is in preserving their perks, their, their boosting their financial uh, uh, well-being, and certainly not thinking very much in, in terms of uh, salvaging or protecting or upholding the heritage of the Norwegian people. I'm just talking very general, but I'm sure you can follow me on that. Why I'm telling you this, let me tell you. In America, many friends of ours, you know, they just ha happen to be obsessed with this free market call it theology. It's like a theology. Nowadays, if you don't believe in the free market, you are, uh, you are crazy, you don't, you don't fit into this normal society. But it is there, it is in this free market liberal system that we have to look for real, real big problems. You will ask me what is the option. Of course there are options, but I'm not going to be too explicit. I will leave it up to you. We know how communism ended. Communism is basically just the twin brother of, of capitalism. But there are different forms of socialism, which I may highly respect. You know? After all, uh, you may read some socialist authors from the 19th century who wrote about different, different modalities and different alternatives. Why I'm telling you this, I hope I'm not complicating it too much. We are, so to speak, nowadays in a so-called free society of all, we literally don't have any alternatives. And if we start raising some, some embarrassing questions, then we are immediately pathologized as, as Nazis, fascists, anti-Semites, you have it. But there are alternatives, dear friends. We just have to look for them. Depends what, 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 you, what you want. I, as I said a while ago, I don't want to waste my time talking about the Hindus or Pakistanis, those illegal aliens who come here, who get the green card. Let's look at the system who made them come over here. Let's look at those rich Norwegian uh, white respectable conservatives who prefer outsourcing their companies to not just to Romania but to China and elsewhere because they want to have an extra profit. So again another problem we have guys. On the one hand here we complain, we whine, we bewail our 
fate and say, well, there are so many foreigners in this country who are basically, who live on our, uh, at our expense with our taxpayers' money. Yet at the same time, for some reasons, we never attack the real problem. Those respectable white conservatives who don't give a damn about their racial awareness or their national, or their if you even cultural awareness. And here we go. Now, look at, I don't know if I'm going to just, I just want to make sure we're on the same page that we understand each other well what I'm going to say, somewhat metaphorical. On the one hand, we can say, for instance, well, Norway is a more racially homogenous, let's say, than, than let's say, Germany, okay? Let's just roughly speak. Yet at the same time, I wonder what type of a whites live in this country, or for that matter in Germany, whose sole preoccupation is just fun, having fun, having sexual fun, having whatever, cheap thrills if you wish, watching TVs. I mean, I don't trust those, those quote-unquote implicit whites very much either. What can I do with that? Do you guys follow me on that? So here we make a difference. We make like a, we are a, probably just a, a chosen few who are aware, who are aware of just not just our cultural heritage, but also our racial heritage, and there is nothing wrong with that. You know? And yet at the same time, we vainly hope that those respectable conservatives, that those other whites will join us, that they will join our forces, and they will finally wake up. Well, there, there, there are some changes that are going on, there's no question about that. But then avoid, avoid by all means, and I'm going to restress it again for the third time, avoid uh, lambasting, lambasting, or for that matter, criticizing those uh, uh, foreigners who come from different antipodes, uh, from Southern Asia, or from Asia, or from Africa, and so on. Well, they're just here because they were brought here by this capitalist the plutocratic system. So if we were to define the enemy to sum it up, and if we were to uh, exactly figure out who is the culprit, who is actually the chief, the root cause of the problem, I would just gladly say white capitalists. Uh, another example you have, but I guess this probably has to do also with, uh, with hip just a plain hypocrisy. You have many whites in a uh, southern part of the United States of America. I, I never asked them myself. I'm quite certain they have some Filipino women, you know, uh, doing some stuff, or they have some farms, and they, they probably hire some Mexican uh, Mexican uh, immigrant workers simply because it brings them more money. And on the other hand, they're proud white, you know, warriors. They, they think about uh, salvaging white America. I guess this is the plain hypocrisy. If they truly like their country, they should first offer a job there are fellow white workers. Over there, the same thing goes on probably lower scale in Norway or for that matter in Germany. So to sum it up, our problems, uh, our problem is not this wild immigration. The problems are those who have brought them here in the first place, namely capitalism, liberalism. Why liberalism, dear friends? I would again suggest you, if you find a moment, I know we sometimes get tired of reading and you know, we prefer watching TV and so on, I wrote a piece about 20, 25 years ago, Historical Dynamics of Liberalism, from Total Market to Total State, which I was surprisingly I predicted 25 years ago, well, modestly, basically what I'm now talking about. Liberalism, by its very nature, what Marx said quite correctly, is, is a system of commodification. It, it turns you into commodity, be it your love affair or be it your respect for your elders.